At Chelsea's premier photography gallery, Hosted Hunt, Michael Bocchieri, senior photo editor at Getty Images, and Patrick G. Ryan, photojournalist and former photo editor of The Hill Newspaper and Politico.com, will be judging the inauguration portfolios of photojournalist Jennifer Altman and Gerald Alibovich for the Viewfinders Photojournalism Challenge. So, you both covered the inauguration of Barack Obama, Gerald for Polaris, Jennifer for Business Week. And today you've brought us your body of work from that for us to judge, and we're very excited to see that work. It was definitely one of the most challenging assignments I've had. I think it would probably rate within the top five. We'd like for you to pick one iconic photograph from that body of work for us to judge and pick as a winner. I, I was really focused on the on the, 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 the faces and the, on the people. Okay, this is January the 20th, the inauguration day. The, the reaction, the joy, the, the, the cheers, the, the, and the guy freezing in the, in the cold. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you a picture, represent the work I did and during the inauguration day. So the first one is one I, I took around the Washington Memorial. This one is like, have the flag follow me. This one is funny. I was walking from the Lincoln Memorial to the Washington Monument. I thought it was the, the perfect picture to show the cool attitude of Barack Obama. And it was funny. This is a shot of the new start, the new beginning for me. The reflection in the water is for me the past administration, the Bush administration, and the old story is troubled and is going to be evaporated. A very iconic picture, mixed couple, and as you can see, she's crying. This is my favorite one. He was looking at the giant screen where Obama was uh, delivering his speech. For me, it's really the iconic picture of this day. All the racial issues are gone, and there is a new hope. And the smile and the joy on the face is this new hope. So thank you for looking at my images, and I hope you, you liked it. I wanted to, to see the picture in 10 years or 20 years to show to my son, daughter, or I don't know. Okay, Jennifer, we can go next, please. My story had to have a beginning, middle, and end. So as a whole, I'm proud of the product. So basically, I did start very early, so my look was a little bit behind the scenes. One of the things that I found interesting was how just the day became light, and I thought it was kind of fitting how it was a dark morning and then grew to a beautiful day. Here's a picture of some soldiers who were practicing before they do their color guard ceremonies. I think it's important to show movement and have the viewer move with you. I also like looking for where your focus should be sometimes. I could have focused on the first soldier's face or the second one, but I like the third one. I just like looking for something you don't necessarily expect. Obama came up with his little daughter and she had a little step to stand on so that she could be viewed, I guess, by the media and see a clearer view of what was going on with her father. In the next frame, he looks back at her and she's kind of proud and then in this frame, I like it because she's really proud of herself. I like this picture. Actually, if you have it blown up, really blown up, you can see every single face. And I like the pattern, sort of, how it's just a little bit of a zigzag. I don't know which picture, to be honest with you, I would choose as symbolic. I mean, for me, it was such a long day. I, I worked about 22 hours from start to finish. I had to go uh, cover a ball at night, too. <laughs> so I kind of like a climatic moment where you are looking for your action shot in a way and not just getting expression but action as well. The pinnacle of that moment would maybe be this shot. And I look forward to hearing what you have to say. I don't think there's one particular shot that stands out. I mean a lot of my shots I think like of the media it was just kind of showing my perspective from where we were and trying to make something different out of everything that everybody else was shooting as well. So, you know, that was my particular focus. Well, thank you both very much. You did uh, a great job, put in a lot of hard work, I know. And uh, we are going to excuse you now and we're going to uh, 
discuss and evaluate and uh, see if we can come up with a winner. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Right, so what did, what did you think of uh, Gerald? As, as far as his, his overall edit of work, um, he had some really nice emotion. But he didn't have any pictures of Obama in, the, in, his, in his edit. There was actually no, no pictures of Obama. I felt that you know, the photo of the people standing by the pool really lacked energy, you know, even though he saw a lot more in, in it. The reflection in the water is, for me, the, um, the past administration, the Bush administration. You know, that's what he sees in, in his photograph, but I don't think it, it totally comes out. So Gerald's pick for his one iconic shot, um, I felt was very powerful. If it was on a web page or if it was on a, printed on a newsstand, you would stop and look at that picture. Mm. If you were walking by, you would stop and look at that picture. So I think that's the definition of a strong composition. Jennifer's work was um, a totally different body than Gerald's. She made an effort, I think, to capture the whole day, um, which in some ways, um, you know, it's good. In some ways, it made her story a little bit weaker. But if her point in several of those pictures was Obama's daughter standing on the box, I think that could have been a much tighter image to include just them. If that's what she was seeing, I, yeah. wanted, I wanted to see that as right. well. Right, you wanted Looking to be at in that there. white yeah. shot, it yeah. was just, it was just, there's, there's too, too much, too much going, going on. on. Too much going on, too much color, too much going on. I like how uh, she had nice little slices of, of little moments that were going on. Just the, uh, the view of the Capitol that she had, in this monumental building in the cold, you know, I thought that was a very strong picture. I tried to make some kind of artful shots amongst the more conservative shots. So, I mean, the artful shots for me are, that's always more challenging for me and that makes me happier than, you know, the shot that everybody else gets. I was hoping for big portrait, emotion, tears, and uh, in a way it was easy because this kind of event is very emotional. Gerald, you had a really nice tight edit of your work. Um, we enjoyed looking at it. You really captured the emotion of the people on the mall, uh, and we were impressed by that. Uh, we did feel the, the, probably the one image that you did pick might have not been the strongest in your body of work. Jennifer, we really liked your, your images of the pre-dawn setup and preparation. But we felt your edit was a little too loose. There was uh, some repetitive images in there and the story could have been broken up into separate stories. It was very tough. We had to pick one iconic photo from the day. And we picked Gerald's. Uh, of the man with the flag. We just thought that that image was a page one type image, that, that if somebody was walking by a newsstand, they would look at that and they would buy the paper. Congratulations, yeah. both of you. Definitely, Thank congratulations. You a lot of hard work. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's a surprise for me to, to, to win something. I never win, uh, won uh, a contest before, so it's, uh, it's my first one. <laughs>